Okay, so back here with Steve, a slight interruption there, looking at the uh, tool and cutter grinder set on the CNC. And where you go, Steve? Okay, I can't remember where we left off, but uh, I think well, it was let's on the grinding wheel. Show basically. us the grinder again, because we couldn't see that very well from well, the other end. Let's open that one up. It's a single phase motor, belt driven to a spindle, the R16 collet, and a diamond grinding wheel from our friends at Arc Eurotrade, which is then mounted on a a pivot point there so it can actually be rotated around or locked. Okay. And that is actually connected to the Y axis. Right. So it can move in and out that way. Okay. Um, I think I was actually mentioning that the center point of the cutter here, yep. dead center of the cutter, I wanted to be coincidence with coincident with the dead center of the pivot point here which is the tilt for setting the uh, the, the cut on the uh, on the face of the cutter yep and I also wanted it dead on center of the rotate here let me just turn the CNC off so that I can rotate it around that way mm -hmm. and I wanted the cutter at some point I wanted the cutter um, in feed to be separate from the Y axis. Right. And the reason for that is if you're cutting a ball end cutter, it's not really very good to have it coming onto the Y axis and then trying to rotate round. It's a lot easier to cut a ball end by coming into a known centre. Okay. From this way. Yeah. And then rotating round. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Okay, so that was the that's why this has an, an extra slide. The other thing is because you don't know how long the cutters are going to be and you want it as universal as possible this is on another slide which is a manual dovetail which can very stiffly move in and out independently of the computer controlled slide right so you can preset your uh, your, your distances okay so this is your gearbox from the windscreen wiper motor yep, with yep. its eccentric set yes. in that block of alum, aluminium, just point yep. at that. that. There's yep. basically the, the, the guts of a windscreen wiper motor gearbox in there. So you have a worm which was taken off the motor shaft of the, of the, um, of the, of the windscreen wiper. A nylon gear or a cetal gear I think it was, which is then fitted up to a shaft here all preloaded in bearings, um, spring loaded take out any backlash with an ER25 collet holder on the end and a small stepper motor driving it there. I put an eccentric on the uh, on the mounting for the motor and worm so you can set the um, engagement of the worm and the gear to get the backlash out of it mm. and that's just machined in eccentrically and then you lock it off with a couple of grab screws when you've got the backlash out of it. And a little stepper motor at the back there. Tiny little stepper motor, you one don't need there, very one much. One closer to you as well. That one again is a tiny little stepper motor. Uh, this is running at a ratio of about 69 to 1 and it just happens that these were scrap stepper motors which were 400 steps per rev. Mm -hmm. So I've got pretty good resolution on that. This has a again a, a scrap slide way from some piece of junk that I picked up and um, a half a millimetre lead screw on there, a very tiny lead screw, only about three millimetres diameter, again from a piece of junk um, driven by the small stepper motors here but perfectly adequate for the um, task in hand. Okay, and you show us the whole thing running? Six axes at once? You would see all six axes at once. Here we go. <laughs> Goodness me, did I miss that? Yes. Let's have another look. Let me just get back to something else. So six axes at once coming off back. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Thank you.